Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3 Season 2. Today we're checking out the Sabertooth variant for the Ram 9. This variant, it kind of reminds me of the Atlas themed variants in camo that was in Advanced Warfare. I don't know if you guys see the similarity but it kind of reminds me of it. It's in the BAE sector of the Battle Pass. And yeah guys, we're just going to get into some gameplay. And as always, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Here's the class I made around the variant. I switched a few attachments around. I feel like this is the best class I could have made for it but apart from that that's pretty much it these are the perks they always use and yeah guys enjoy the video all right so this is what the variant looks like i was describing this a few videos ago a few days ago The colours on this variant, the red, white and black, it reminds me of kind of like the Atlas theme from Advanced Warfare. You know like when you pre-ordered Advanced Warfare, I can't remember, but you got a camo or a variant that was themed around the Atlas company, you know, in the game. This and the other variant for the BP-50, it reminds me of that. If we really are going to get an Advanced Warfare themed season in Season 3, then this is pretty much a preview of what the variants could look like. If the rumours are true, which most people are believing are true at this point, that the BAL 27 and the Moors are coming back, they've got to bring back the Obsidian Steed for the BAL. Bring it back, put it in the Battle Pass and have it be like the Tier 1 variant it'll be so sick or at the very least put it in the store i know it's like gonna be seen as laziness you know them rehashing old variants but consider the fact that advanced warfare is 10 years old this year they've got to bring it back there's a rumor that the asm1 and the em1 that's supposed to be coming they've been caught from the game right there's a rumor that they aren't coming now or maybe they could just be bringing them in the mid-season I don't know. I was talking the other day as well about... I think I mentioned briefly the other day about the content they've got planned for this game. Because they said before this game came out, the first six, 6v6 maps for multiplayer are going to be brand new. So what I'm thinking is the content they've planned for season one and two, I think they were already working on it before the game even came out. But my problem with this is everything they had planned before the game came out, we've pretty much gotten most of it at this point. They had content planned for the first two seasons. But we're now in season two, so we don't know if the quality of the content or the amount of content we're getting is going to drop off in season three. Chances are the worst it'll be is we go back to two maps at launch and one in mid-season. But the fact that it's rumoured that the ASM1 and EM1 have been cut from the game for some weird reason, despite the fact that there was a rumour that both ones would be coming. That's not a good sign if that's true, but we'll find out next season. You know, it's only been pretty much three weeks since season two started. We've got a lot of stuff still coming this season. Before we worry about season three. And my reasoning for why the quality of the content or the amount of content is going to drop off after this season is because of the fact that a quarter of Sledgehammer's employees have been laid off. That is very significant for them. So it's something to bear in mind. We don't know how many people actually work on the seasonal content from Sledgehammer or any of the devs. So I guess we'll have to wait and see like how it actually affects the content going forward. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next video.